Could Palantir be the next GameStop? SoftBank could be your upcoming best investment and Forbes list Clorox as a stock to watch in 2021. All this and more on this week's Invest Roundup. Hey guys, it's Terry again and you're watching Invest Roundup. Stock market last week was buzzing about Bitcoins with the cryptocurrency reaching new heights in valuation and Oracle's big Microsoft-like makeover. People involved in the GameStop saga were facing the Congress and the Wall Street bets. The Reddit group behind this incident now has their eyes on another stock. More about that later. For now, let's get into this week's news. Disclaimer, whatever stock or news we talk about is not a recommendation to buy or to sell. These are all just news we deem important, things we believe you need to know if you're invested in the stock market or if you intend to invest. First news item, could Palantir Technologies be the next GameStop? It was a very eventful week for Palantir Technologies, roller coaster even. So here's the scoop. Since February 9th, about two weeks ago, Palantir's share price started sliding from one of its highest peaks of all time at $38.17. And it didn't stop, just kept going. So by Thursday last week, it has hit $25.17. That's around 34% down in just two weeks. Yikes. And if you're wondering, what despicable thing did these guys do for the share price to slide like this? The answer is, not much actually. You see, when some companies go for IPO, Palantir included, they would have a rule in place that the IPO investors will not be able to sell off the shares for a set period of time. Which means these shares are locked up for the first few months or years of the IPO and cannot be traded in the stock market. The downside to this move is, right after this period is over, investors would usually rush to the stock market and sell off the shares, which will then cause the share price to slide. And this is exactly what happened in Palantir. Since the slide two weeks ago, it declined another 7% last Thursday after the lockup period expired and unlocked 80% of the shares to be traded publicly. So, tons of sell-offs, and to top it off, the people were also disappointed with their fourth quarter financial results. More sell-offs. Now, for the big questions, should we invest in Palantir? And how solid is this stock? Let's talk pros and cons. Cons. The co-founder and chairman Peter Thiel is known to be a great supporter in Donald Trump's bid for the US presidency. He works with the military, immigration and enforcement and intelligence agencies, which naturally drew public scrutiny. Billionaire George Soros has publicly inferred that he is exiting Palantir for ethical reasons and that his funds, Soros Fund Management, does not approve of Palantir's business practices. Pros. Cathy Wood's ETFs acquired 6.8 million shares of Palantir last week during the share price dip, which can only mean this stock does have potential. Reddit's Wall Street bets, yeah, the same guys who broke GameStop shares last month now have their eyes on this stock, which means cha-ching, opportunity. And an article in Seeking Alpha states that Foundry, Palantir's commercial business, will be the next big thing. At the moment, share price is standing at around $29, but it seems to be overvalued by more than 30% which means you may be paying a little too much if you buy this now. So, you be the judge. Second news item, we talk about how SoftBank turned around and is now one of the hottest stocks in 2021. Want to know how the rich becomes richer? Learn from this guy. SoftBank's founder Masayoshi San recently brought the company's share price to a new all-time high of 10,530 yen, making it the latest hot stock in the market. Let's not forget, this was the same guy who, just last year, announced an operating loss of $17.7 billion after losing money investing in WeWork and Uber. Anyway, according to experts, it was a few things that caused SoftBank to suddenly become the star of the show and possibly one of the stocks to watch in 2021. 1. Strong numbers from the financial report year end 2020, where net income increased 541%. 2. Investment gains of $27.6 billion across the SoftBank Vision Funds, which weirdly was thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. 3. From April to September last year, the company went on a selling spree to let go investments that no longer served them and used those funds, around $53 billion, to buy back more than $12 billion worth of shares end of last month. So, to any investor, increased stakes in the company also means increased confidence in their own business, which then increases other investors' confidence. Brownie points to the founder. 4. The string of successful Silicon Valley IPOs such as Opendoor, DoorDash and Sear, all of which are backed by Masayoshi and SoftBank. In fact, this month, South Korean e-commerce company Coupang already filed for IPO and if this goes through, this could triple the value of SoftBank's $3 billion investment. Are you seeing this? This guy is using his existing money to generate a million times more money. He won back his investors' confidence just like that. Maybe that's why he's the second richest man in Japan. This guy's a genius. 
the Japanese billionaire already announced that he wants to take 10 to 20 portfolio companies public each year. So, we can definitely expect more growth coming. In fact, despite the all-time high share price now, experts say it's possible for SoftBank stock to reach 15,000 yen. Not saying you should buy now, just a messenger. But don't say we didn't warn you. At the moment, the company seems like they still need to work on the growth, but it's actually doing great in the dividends department. And you know who else gives dividends? Not us, unfortunately. But we give you weekly market updates for free. If you want to profit, you gotta stay updated and what better way to start than here. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video. And finally, we look at another COVID hero stock and according to Forbes, has significant upside potential. It is insane how some of you have turned into the most compulsive cleaners in the world since last year. And how do we know you are compulsive cleaners? Clorox, that's how. Apparently, there was a buying frenzy last year and all these disinfecting wipes were wiped clean off the shelves and none were available for a while. Wipe clean. Get it? Anyway, CEO of Clorox, Linda Randall, recently said that the company has amped up their production and that we have a better chance of finding the popular disinfecting wipes on the shelves now that the buying hysteria has slowed down just a bit. So, how does this impact the investing front, you ask? Well, thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, Clorox's sales has exploded. The second quarter results from earlier this month shows that sales has increased 27% from the prior year and earnings soared 39%. The company now expects sales to increase between 10% and 13% in fiscal 2021. Over at Forbes, experts are commenting that even though the stock is down almost 25% from its mid-2020 high of $237, Clorox is a smart bet and has significant upside potential down the road. The only thing that's causing some investors to step on the brakes right now is the fact that Clorox is still absorbing a lot of production costs. CEO Linda Randall has addressed this saying that while Clorox has pricing power in the market, it is not yet ready to hike its prices. She, however, assured investors that the change in consumers' cleaning behaviours are here to stay and the company is doing everything they can to help them as they adjust to their habits and lifestyles. Share price fell 1.37% last Friday to $187.05 and is considered a medium-risk investment at the moment due to the potential risk in their capital expenditure management. So, those are the three important investment news we had to share with you this week. Once again, we encourage you to get more information if you'd like to act on any of the companies we shared about earlier. Comment below and tell us what you'd like to see on Invest Roundup and share this video with your friends, especially those who are vested in the stock market. We'll see you next week.